Welcome to Statistics Radio, where we are going over vocabulary so you can get an A on the test, because that's what we really like. We're talking about Chapter 1, Section 1.1, which is Introduction to the Practice of Statistics. The first word is statistics. Statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, summarizing, and analyzing information to draw conclusions or answer questions. In addition, statistics is about providing a measure of confidence in any conclusions. A population is the entire group to be studied. An individual is a person or an object that is a member of the population that's being studied. A sample, it's the subset of the population that is being studied, just a small percentage of them. A statistic is a numerical summary of a sample. Underneath statistics, you have two options, descriptive and inferential. A descriptive, descriptive statistic is, consists of organizing and summarizing the data. Descriptive statistics describe data through numerical summaries, tables, and graphs. With inferential statistics, they're using methods that take a result from the sample, extend it to the population, and then measure the reliability of that result. A parameter is the numerical summary of a population. So a sample is the subset of the population that's being studied. A parameter is the numerical summary of a population. We go on to variables. Variables are the characteristics of the individuals within the population. Qualitative or categorical variables allow for classifications of individuals based on some attribute or characteristic, something that's counted. Quantitative variables provide numerical measures of individuals. The values of a quantitative variable can be added or subtracted and provide meaningful results, something measured like a distance. We can further classify quantitative variables into two types. A discrete variable, which is a quantitative variable that has either a finite number of possible variables or a countable number of possible va values. The term countable means that the values result from counting, such as 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. A discrete variable cannot take on every possible value between any two possible values. That would be a continuous variable. A continuous variable is a quantitative variable that has an infinite number of possible values that are not countable. A continuous variable may take on every possible value between any two values. That's our last word for section 1.1 in statistics. I hope you get an A on your test.